Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you some of the new features from Android 13 Developer Preview 1. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So if we go into the about section, you can see that the Android code name is Tiramisu, which is Android 13 and I have installed this developer preview on my OnePlus 8T. Thanks to Jay for porting this build, though I don't recommend anyone to install this as it is a developer preview build and it might have a lot of bugs. Now coming to the new features and changes done in Android 13, first up we have media player changes. The playback output picker has now been completely redesigned and it is now pill shaped. You can also control the media volume from here. Honestly, it looks very good aesthetically. And another change in the media player is that when you click on play pause button, you can see that there is a subtle sparkle animation that was not present earlier. It again looks very good to be honest. The next feature of Android 13 is the quick wallpaper switcher from the pixel launcher. Now when you long tap on the pixel launcher, it will show you 5 last used wallpapers and you can seamlessly switch between them. The good thing about this is that it also works for third party wallpapers, so it's not just the pixel wallpapers. Another change related to pixel launcher is that the launcher will now have support for themed icons for all the third party apps. Till now the themed icons were restricted only to Google apps, but now developers need to just supply monochrome app icons and the third party apps will also have themed icon support. Moving on, the next small change is done in the notification shades. Now whenever you close or expand the notification shade, you can see that the quick settings are squeezed out unless like Android 12 where the quick tiles were cropped whenever you expanded or closed the notification panel. Next up we have 3 new QS style in Android 13. The first one is a toggle for 100 mode so you can easily turn on and off the 100 mode. The second QS style is the color correction tile and finally the third QS style is scan QR code. Though currently this has been greyed out but you will be able to use it in the future builds. Another small change is related to the quick tap feature. You can now also toggle the flashlight by double tapping on the back side of the phone. Moving on, another great addition to Android 13 is the quick split screen features. So now whenever you are using an app in picture in picture mode and you open any other app, you will get this little icon on the picture in picture mode window. Whenever you click the icon, both the apps will open in split screen mode. This is going to save you the hassle of manually opening two apps in split screen mode. And finally, the last major change on Android 13 is regarding the guest profile. Now you can select the apps that should be there in the guest mode. And when you switch to the guest profile, you will see that the app you selected is there. The guest still needs to log in the app with their credentials, but really handy feature. So those were all the major changes found in Android 13 developer preview 1. Android 13 is still in development phases and the stable release will be somewhere around August 2022. Comment down which feature you are most excited about. Thank you for watching.